Yo, yo. I still want to see someone try, like, a really, really tanky Yasuo build. Not full tank, obviously, but, like, mm -hmm. shield bow into a fucking bruiser or something, just so... You get around his weakness of just being so fucking squishy that you die. Because I feel like the solo queue montage style Yasuo, where you're just buying full damage, one shotting everyone's just not a reality in competitive play. It's not going to work. Dude, who the fuck would ever want to play Yasuo Jinx against Malphite Poppy? This seems miserable. <laughs> this is just totally miserable. C9 Scomp has no damage, though. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to point out. That's on the flip side, C9 doesn't yeah. actually kill anyone. Just it is a little tough. tip. I, I I know that like a lot of what Jinx players, you know, they love the trap CC combo, and it is really fucking broken. But like sometimes, just the the chance that you might fuck it up, just go W. I think. I mean, can you reliably get traps off a of one second CC like Leona? Yeah, you you need to be really fast. You have to be like throwing it good. before it shows up, don't you? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you have to react to the E, I think. Yeah. Pretty tough. Oh. Ooh. Oh my oh. god. Wow. Wait a sec. Wow. How I, is Fudge gonna die like that? I guess that's just Yasuo things. That was so fucking weird. <laughs> what the hell? That did not seem like an angle know. for Yasuo. I mean, if Fudge is just gonna take a tornado to the face. Because Diana yeah. had items for that. He had an extra blasting wand. So he blasted him. Mm -hmm. You you would say. One may say. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to flash that knockoff every time with Diana and Ignite damage. Yeah. Not surviving it. I don't know if he just accepted he was dead and figured he'd save his flash, or he just... Fucked up. True. Joe's just so impressive playing shit like... Like, he played Corky and Victor, but he can also play shit like Trinomir and Yasuo mid, and he seems really clean on all of it. Mm-hmm. He's just a fucking talented ass rookie. Yeah, you're, you're set behind. I see. Would you also need to like maybe find out where the guy lives? And uh, pay him I a mean, little visit yeah. just to kind of let him know what your grievance is. Yeah, mm. I would send him a Fisher link, try to get his IP address, you know. Mm. I mean I I wouldn't overreact, but I would the I usual I stuff. Do. Just usual, like maybe he goes out, then you follow him back home in your car, just to Ooh. make him feel unsafe, but you're not actually gonna go inside. Wait a sec. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Ooh. Oh! Wait, holy fuck. Danny? This is what the fuck? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Danny just what meleeing the, the Malphite. What an absolute chad. <laughs> I, I guess. I mean, he can do that, I suppose. <laughs> How is EG just running them over? How was the did you see, fattest? Did you fucking... see Danny's stopwatch, by the way? Dude, that if was he, a 45. If he predicted... Yeah. Wait, if... What? Holy shit. Redacted wasn't there. Oh my god. That's not a good look for C9. Dude, how did they end up? I feel like if they had one fucking damage dealer, this comp would be so much better. Lin Yo, th is this not just the, <laughs> yeah. the most Olaf comp ever? Replace Poppy with Olaf, and this is such a god comp. Yeah, it is. What is with the um, LCS teams in loving no damage drafts? Ooh, oh, that oh. flash from Inspired that was, was fucking just beautiful. fucking sexy. Yeah. Holy shit. Actually, I, I... What do we? How do we feel about exhaust? Do you guys think that exhaust might be good against Yasuo, Diana? I just realized the Danny flash wasn't that weird because, like, Malphite TP'd on turret because you know it's twelve minutes and he. Couldn't TP anywhere but turret. Yeah. So unless he had his screen over near the turret, he wouldn't have known Malphite was there. Mm -hmm. So he flashed into Malphite in face. <laughs> zero Keck W. Which who was who was zero guys? Who was Holy. Zero? Uh, must have been. I don't know. Did Rakan's disengage was actually terrible. I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh yeah, he. Well, I saw him try to go on Diana, and then Diana just sidestepped it, and then fucking E yeah. R flash off of him. Yeah, he like well, tried to help. Well, this game looks 
unbelievably over. Mm hmm. My god. I gotta say, Budge is getting gapped quite hard. It's Whoa. a bit disgusting. Danny has cleansed. Ooh, oh, no, he got Wilson. Well that yeah. happens. That happens, bro. I get well stunned all the time by Poppy, and I just think, what the fuck? That's stunned? It, it, it's really... It's like Bard, dude. When you play Poppy, sometimes you'll feel like you have the absolute cleanest angle, and it doesn't stun, doesn't and then do other it. times you'll just randomly do it, and it'll, like, stun him off a wall, like, across off the screen. Off like a pebble, yeah. So goddamn inconsistent. Let's go impact, yay! No idea. What do you think LS is saying about his boys? His fucking soldiers. Crying. Call LS. He's probably wondering why Darshan's pushing top. <laughs> <laughs> I taught him better. <laughs> uh oh. Impact is caught against three people. Impact's Does first. it matter? C9, no damage. And he's gone. His first impact on the game is dying. At wow, that was so good. Sneaky. I don't know what else to say. I wasn't even trying to do that. <laughs> yeah, his first yeah, contribution. That was so natural. His first Actually, contribution believe... to the game. Yeah. Yeah, Diana's probably not feeling very inspired after that play. <laughs> oh my god, total accident. <laughs> Dude, Yasuo's Jojo puning all over the place. <clears throat> Uh, mm -mm, I don't know if that one load very well. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Medios, I forgot. Sorry, dude. Impact is just a word that, like, you just can't use outside of outside of these <laughs> games. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, it yeah, only yeah. When and you're I totally a don't just name. throw Jojo Pune in that in normal <laughs> conversation either. <laughs> hey, man, I wouldn't have pulled back if I was trying it. Holy shit! Wow, he missed a free R there. Well played by Darshan tanking out that combo with his passive shield there. That Very was nice. crazy, man. In a way, Impact has been all of our ex top laners. Yeah. Yeah. This man is a whore. <laughs> He'll top lane for anybody. Jesus. So easy. <laughs> well, it was like a threesome with me and Sneaky. He was our top laner at the same time. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys are getting cucked. It was I hot. I love playing with Impact, dude. It Impact's was so hot. Got to be one of my favorite teammates all time. So fucking funny. I agree. He's fu he's funny. He's, he's funny like... and he's good. It's it's not yeah. like he's a clown because he's like funny and he's feeding half the time. Like he's act. Well, he is feeding half the time in scrims, but he's <laughs> he's like usually trying while feeding his ass off, which makes it. It's not like the tilt, like, I'm just running it the fuck down type and beating. I don't think I've ever seen Impact complain or blame someone. Even yeah. if, I, like, say I do something that totally fucks him over, he'd be like, ah, sh it's okay, it's okay. Like, yeah, he wouldn't be like, oh, well, my game's fucked, I can't play anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. He'd be like, you just sit on it, and as soon as post-game review starts, so be like, for me. like, he'll never say that. <laughs> that's true, that's true. No, he's a real homie. I, I always enjoy cheering love that. him on. Yep. I'll always root for Impact, dude. No Impact fighting. And have you guys seen his huge cock? Oh, oh. dude, it's so big. Oh. That's one of the first things that drew me to him. Don't get me started. Because yeah. he's going like three items, no, no tanky shit, no breezer items. What is, what do you, what are these rockets? I'm like so confused. Like a hawk is, shot. He's just using rockets to scout the enemy team. Is he bored? I think, I mean, he's obviously bored as shit. He's got 180 CS He's abusing that fucking 60 second cooldown. It's just a vision ult. It's not that bad to use it that way, I guess. If nothing's happening. But oh, oh, there's a fight. Yeah. Oh, and Blabber's oh. dead. Now his ult's down. Blabber has flash though, he's fine. Man, this game just feels so fucking over. I don't know what C9 is waiting for. I just wish EG got the first dragon earlier. FF yeah. now, Madge. C9 is kind of just waiting for EG to throw. This is a potential throw right here. If Malphite TPs and they have TF to spot it. What an honorable burger flip. No way. Darshan Let's steals see. these. Blabber no, steals these. I mean, he has no flash. Oh. Why is Darshan TPing after Baron's gone? Like, what? what is that? 
I don't know why you did it so I late, feel like yeah. if you're going to TP, you should probably do it before the Baron's gone. Yeah, that's on Darshan. If he TP's five, like four seconds earlier, he can just ult into the pit. That was pretty good. I mean, he's not going to ult yeah, solo really into the pit, though. No, I'm saying, like, that was good for Miji because they blew Poppy's flash and just did Baron. Because she can't. Hex flash? I mean, you just touch but, him but, once and you can't use it. Yeah, but Renekton did flash W over the wall, so that was that was actually a really impressive decision. Dude. Okay, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's actually bored. He's bored. He's like, no, he's it's like Caitlyn he's, he's, he's just trying to yeah. hit it. I think he's, like, trying to pad his damage dealt stat while also pretending that, like, these rockets are doing stuff. Yeah. Hundred percent, he's bored. No matter what rationale he tries to give after the game to explain his alts, there it doesn't matter. There's no <laughs> yeah. chance he's doing this in a game that's not just completely over, where it doesn't matter what the fuck he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's he could true, go that's true. fucking full AP Jinx at this point, and the game would look the exact same. <laughs> yeah. EG is too fucking good. They actually don't don't uh, waste Baron pressure by going drag two. So many, so many strategic options become viable when your team is really good. Oh, oh, oh! He's taking zero damage. Really oh my god! Oh, oh my god! They are pretty tanky. Kind of running it down. Actually, yeah. Actually, it's not that good. Jo Vulcan's dead. Vulcan's dead. Ooh. Oh, Captain Jack. And they had a fat Hello. CC combo, but. Oh, the Dude. jinx salt. Dude, honestly, how is Fudge so bad? Like, this is this is embarrassing. <clears throat> like, not flashing or what? He's gonna reset off the turret. Woo! Pew, pew, pew. Jinx getting reset. No, he, off he didn't. Like, so Fudge didn't get fucking flash stunned. He got Renekton Eid into a stun. Like, you have to be mispositioning so bad for that to happen. Yeah. yeah. That's, like, not even really possible to happen when you're playing, like, Sivir or Callista. That's, like, that's, like, I don't even know what. It, he actually had, he like, got the E reset and then another E then Rocket Bell, but he just couldn't exactly- SAVE well. JOJO! Yeah. Save impact now. Well, C9 looked pretty fucking lifeless in this one. Okay, they I won. Alright, I'm pulling back. a team that's a level above, too. I don't, I mean, C9 obviously made making mistakes and stuff, but you look so extra bad when you're playing against a team that's just two steps ahead of you the whole game. Yeah, EG oh, looks pretty yeah. untouchable so far in lock-in. They seem <clears throat> way better than yeah. everyone else. Yeah, I checked out the oh, sure. the fudge thing. He he definitely just spaced it wrong. He, he has fucking ghost up, too. Oh, he does? <laughs> I'm gonna watch it again, too. Like, he, he's moving in before he has gold guard. Yeah. Like, he just started cycling, and he's, oh, like, running in their gosh, face. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, my gosh. He's... Mm, yeah, that like, was if, pretty bad. If he has gold in that exact moment, like he goes in to range when he has gold, then it's different because he stuns Renekton on the E and doesn't get stunned yeah. himself. I want to see too. I'm pretty sure if he, he was tunneled on getting Danny, which is why he positioned that way. But that was a pretty big mistake. He didn't yeah. Start the turn. Oh, you know he also has Zonias to react to off his misplay, but he's—I don't think he's very used to using that Ooh. ability. He shouldn't have to there, but yeah. Yeah. He had flash in, didn't you? I don't know, actually. When did when did League add replays? It was a huge meme for a while. They finally did it, though. I can't remember just... when they added it. Was it like season nine? Is that late? <laughs> no. It might have been before that. <laughs> Absolutely not. Was it season 12? I, I remember really a point where like I scrimmed and couldn't look at replays. But, but yeah, it, it was the external program that was allowing that. Yeah, well, in scrims, you would have like your fucking observer there to just stay in the game afterwards remember like yeah yeah that was that was the original coach role you just fucking true <laughs> that's so funny you were there for the replays <laughs> i actually forgot about that that your yeah, coach's original role was to make the lobby for scrims and to just record the replay they didn't actually coach anything most of the time mm -hmm. and now it's evolved into the coach having like fucking unilateral authority over the roster <laughs> it gets kicked so epic man i love it <laughs> i do think though like the you know in a fair world you know uh, coaching is a great asset to the team and they should have authority it's just it might have been too rushed um in the west to copy like the way korean and chinese teams do it 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think I, I think it's too whack in league, dude. I think people only try to model it after traditional sports, but traditional sports are so far removed from how league actually plays. The fact that you have absolutely no say in what happens in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think. Yeah, you know, obviously everyone has their own personal experiences, but my experience with Kane and Dodo was like they really carried the team as the coaches. Like they put in they put in so much value, and I couldn't imagine us being as good without their coaching, um, or their leadership. So you know, I always have a lot of respect. For them. Yeah, I think it's definitely case by case. Like there are yeah. some people that are really good at that type of role, but like when you try to force <laughs> that role on people who don't know how to use that role then oh it's that's where the problem everything comes over. yeah 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 i totally understand that too i've had some unfortunate coaching situations as well <laughs> can you guys imagine in the current like pro scene a player getting banned for boosting because they wanted to make side income like people were paid <laughs> so differently back then than they are now oh yeah it's fucking crazy dude <laughs> i think like back in season four season five people were being paid like around 40 50k salary and now like the fucking freshest rookie off the block is getting paid 200k so there's no reason to ever do was... anything sketchy, right? You don't need that extra money. It's not worth your time. I think it was a little bit higher than 4050, but yeah, yeah. It was definitely like way lower than what it is now. You think that Xiaoi Zhao would get paid more than like 40, 50K a year? Yeah, they had to move oh. to America. I see. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. But like, I mean, not not much more. Like I was thinking like 70K or something. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's... Still, like that would be enough to be like, ha! Ah, I need more money. Boosting is boosting. It is. <laughs> you you guys know how back in our day, I sound like a boomer, but back in our day, like streaming and like social media presence is something that like people really cared about, like making good content. You know, like being a part of the fucking house tour and like being funny and being likable is building your brand. Like that was a big deal back uh -huh. then. And yeah. now it yeah. feels like people, players care less and less about that stuff, especially well, streaming. I think it's changed a lot because I remember back when I first went pro, it was like fucking the Reddit was like really empowering for pro players where it was like even if you just had like a banger tweet, it would like go on Reddit and people would like talk about it and shit and I think that people actually got huge followings from that but then I remember there was a point where they just banned any tweets on Reddit so it's just like it's a no fun allowed that interaction they also started like removing Twitch stuff too tanked. yeah yeah what Lately, Aphelios has been looking better and better. There's really? a reason why the Chinese AD carries keep fucking playing it. I don't know. I think people are just getting What's better. What's making him look better? Using using his guns in the right rotation. Um, also, builds have changed a bit. What's making him look better? I think. Yeah. Um, well, he's just doing he's just doing more instead of just getting perma outranged. Maybe maybe part of it was just because people were getting like jinx corky and it was impossible for Phyllis to hit anyone. Um I mean I, I still think that's his biggest problem. Aphelios has like pretty weak range, but if he's actually hitting, he's doing a shit ton of damage. EG actually went Tom here. Tom is yeah. like terrible. Terrible Tom looking is... champ. I feel I, like top. I don't think he's a support, yeah. More ability than support agreed agreed he's literally not a support anymore yeah i don't think you can look at that kid and say like i want tom kenshin not like rel they're like just the amount of utility that you get I, the, the problem with tom Kenshin support in, in my eyes is there's the opportunity cost of not picking one of the most broken champs in the game like nautilus fucking leona rel like all these champs are so op and then you're just sticking a random tom kenshin there it doesn't make sense Mm. Mm. Locked it instantly, Lux. Ooh. Lux 100% win rate? Don't think so. Think I saw it lose yesterday. Big news. Lux mid is actually broken. One of the, like, rank three on NA ladder right now is some dude who plays Lux mid only. I'm Cupic. Or wait, I think his name might just be Cupic right now. He makes Lux mid look fucking broken. I was saying that, like, these champs, like, 
Lux, Ziggs, and, Z and Zareth mid are so insanely OP. I don't know why they're not played more. Hmm. To me, it feels so hard to win against these champs because, uh, you know, just take Lux, for example. You can never siege her turret. Um, so you never have tempo on her on her lane unless she dies. It's hard to die because, obviously, you have a 20 billion range. And if any anything, anything happens around you, you have always have follow-up. Like, you don't need to do any sort of walk-up or positioning setup. You can just follow up on any chain CC. I mean, yeah, assuming that you're, like, I... at least in the general area. The, the traditional problem with Lux is, and these champs has always just been, they don't do damage. That's it. They just, they just don't do damage compared to, like, Ori, compared to Syndra. Um, like, now, long I feel like they'll one-shot you. Yeah, long cooldowns, so just overall low damage, because if you whiff what one ability, hell? it's, like, super punishing. What is that? You see that light? Nah. On the middle of the screen? Yeah. Middle of the right? It's like a little oh, yeah, circle. Yeah. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? You're right. This is bothering me now. I need to tell, uh, I need to tell him. Ah, there's a fucking dead pixel on my screen. Let's see here. Somebody fix my monitor. <laughs> Wait, impact's just. This is walking. so disgusting to have. Oh, it's here. gone. It's gone. It's gone. Woo! It's playable. It's gone. It's gone. We're good. We did it. So why did Lux start Mana Crystal? I don't know. That seems weird. It just can't I mean, last it. Yeah. It's for fast lost chapter, I assume, but... I don't, I don't know how what just happened botlane is fucking allowed, by the way. Every time Thresh hits two in a real game, he flash flays, and then they just beat the shit out of him, and they go for the 50-50 hook. Isles must have, like, randomly YOLO thrown a hook. I actually hate when my Threshes do that, unless they obviously hit it, but that's a... RNG factor. Mm hmm. Disgusting. RNG you hit, you hit two skill. first with Thresh, and they're, and they're 80 carries in flash play range. If you don't fucking flash play ignite that, you're a dumbass. <laughs> Ooh, you're a dumbass. It's true. You, That's right. The, the best, okay, the worst case scenario is you trade flashes with their 80 carry and get an HP trade. The, wor the best case scenario out of that is that you hit the 50 oh. 50 hook after he flashes. Budge is getting absolutely worked. Yeah, he's getting shit on. Jojo about is too young, dude. He's too fucking young for this league to handle. Ooh, Ooh. we're doing the the stylish snipping. That did Jesus Christ, legit. Jojo is just fucking pounding fudge so hard. It's pounding his fudging. Can fudge even yes. get enough gold for his future market lost chapter? Nope. This is fucking bizarre, man. EG's the one freezing mid. Holy fuck. That's supposed to be Fudge's move. It's funny the way that Fudge was like talking in his in his uh He bought a fucking he Anto. Didn't get it. Oh no. It's so fucking doomed. It's a disaster. Yeah. It's so fucked. Who knows? JoJo can totally mess up and get chain CC'd. Jar yep, he's he, oh! yep. Yep, yep, yep. I called it. I literally called it. Medius called it. Oh, Medius called it. Thanks, Medius. Wow. Damn, you're so smart, Medius. That feels so fucking bad to be Jojo in this situation. You're just absolutely railing this dude all no, game. No, but he's playing, he's playing like an idiot. Let's be real he, here. He was playing like he an shouldn't, idiot there. He shouldn't be playing like that. He got cocky. <clears throat> he should know the enemy enemy mid jungle is win con. Oh. Miss. I don't the think there's hell? anything more blessed than playing jungle for a team where all of your lanes are just going to win naturally. Yeah. And there's nothing more cursed than playing jungle for a team where all of your lanes are going to lose. <laughs> like, yeah, that if you don't fucking carry bad. their lane, they're going to lose. Yep. That is just too Then funny. you feel forced to correct yeah, all that pressured. shit. Every yeah, like, second you feel of the like game, farming a campus making a mistake. You're just yeah. like, fuck, dude. Like, I'm missing an opportunity to win this game. <laughs> when you're, it's, it's such a bad mindset to get into, though, because, like, that's not the case at all. Yeah. Just to let them figure out their own problem. Yeah, like... No, but then in the review, it's like, well, I mean, like, it was a really good time for you to come here. He's playing so aggressive. Like, he's just humping me under my turret if you just came one time. And it's like, okay. <laughs> Bro.
Dude, that was my fucking optic experience. It was like legit every game my bot lane would lose their turret and have like 50 to 100 CS and like we just, we shouldn't have enough bot lane pressure. Like, <laughs> Wait, are you uh, talking about Arrow uh, and Big? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's really funny is like Arrow's a lot different now. His laning is actually a lot better now, but man, his laning on optic was fucking sketchy. Yeah, I'd just be like... And then I'd have the coach and other people telling me like, oh, well, you just need to show some presence. Like, just just show bot lane. <laughs> well, that's, back up. I'm like, that's, that's I'm like the how the fuck is that, that adding do. pressure? That mm -hmm. just lets the whole team your, know where your, I your am. Your coach is actually a dumbass. <laughs> like, that is the last thing that you should do. Not showing is more pressure than showing. That's what I would say. And they'd be like, <laughs> no. Nah. What the no, fuck? you just gotta go for no, stuff, Meteor. You can't be so passive. I'm just like, oh my, oh my god, goodness, what have I signed up for? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Oh man, that's actually hilarious. Good times, good times. Good fucking times, man. I'm not trying to call anyone out, but Zabatine, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I, I like Zabatine. Oh, oh, wait, oh god, he tried to fuck? go for Lantern. Dead. Oh, Sven. Oh, Damn. my God. That was cringe. That Sven was real is, cringe. Sven is extremely cringe right now. Like, did you see him just stand still with yeah. that lantern? Like, what the fuck was that? Do you think he he's, like, super in his own head because he's playing his Vulcan right now and just getting shit on by yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah, I think actually. He's think just so. replaying every disagreement they've ever had in, in his yeah, head right like, now, being like, No, fuck, no, he Vulcan can't be right. right. <laughs> when your ex gets with Chad. <laughs> I played a bit against Sven in solo queue. I think he's he's definitely not in his best shape right now. And uh, I've seen him play obviously wow. way way better than that. Looking a little but chubby. That, like, yeah, yeah, he's a bit out of shape. <laughs> Put it that Damn. way. Damn. Little too many burgers. Like, I can tell when I when I'm playing bad. I'm just like, man, I am fucked right now. Like I'm so bad. I think I think Sven's a bit out of it. Has he been... We'll see. Maybe he'll pop Does off. Does he still grind now. a shit ton? Is he still playing a ton of solo queue? Yeah. Or is he taking a break? I got him in one of my games and he just literally mental boomed at level two. It was fucked. Hmm. Like, I'm talking. He on was... your team or were you against? On him? my team. On my team. He was just playing Type Racer for the rest of the game with the support. It was. It was... <laughs> Actually, he was right. He was. He was. Oh. 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 So instead oh. of taking the lantern, Fudge just flashes? That was weird. Maybe he's trying to save up her blabber. No well, trust. Take it. Oh god. What the fuck? Holy shit. Darshan gets out? Fudge. Yeah. Oh man. This is so like dirty to watch. I thought this would be a closer series. C9 <laughs> just seems completely Uh oh. EG dysfunctional. EG just Oh wait. Oh they're giving one back. Ooh. Oh. oh, he can't take Q. He can't take Q. Oh, oh my oh. God. Hold Dude, up. Inspired, inspired right out of energy. He couldn't take his Q, and then he just gets hooked right oh. as he has the energy. That wow. was so fucking sad. I thought Blabber played that well with that ult. Because he like, yeah, jumped yeah, away from nice. Lee. Yeah. It's funny, yeah, I mean, though. C9 is just fucking working EG. Like, this isn't even close. <laughs> C9 is just yeah. so much better. Yeah, I thought EG would be way so better. Smart, man. Yeah, I, I thought EG would put up a better fight, but I guess C9's just, like, too good. Yeah. So let's see how they win this 4v5, because Aphelios is taking bot the entire time. Just feels like Jinx has done no damage this whole time, walked into a victor stun, gets out, okay, that's fine. Actually, yeah, Everyone's but... one HP, and Vulcan thinks he can go back in. To be honest, it's not a bad play if, uh, if JoJo's still here, but JoJo's, like, super far away. Ooh. Oh, W gets cancelled, Sag. Yeah. Look at this Q, he's looking for energy. He should just auto-attack somebody there, but he yeah, gets confused. Yeah, that was... That's okay, that's that's not a crazy, crazy misplay. It's just fucked. Like, it's it was sad. small things. Like, if Vulcan yeah. waited for Leeson to be in W range, that looks different. If Leeson auto-jinx for energy, it looks different. Yeah. Yeah, given that context that Aphelios was just smacking Botter the whole time, that actually is so much worse for C9. Yeah, I and mean, look, looking at Botter right now, it's at one fucking plate. That is, oh my god, they're gonna I mean, give. They, they legit nine lost plates. a five v four situation. They just yeah, afterwards killed themselves. Yeah, doing some weird shit. Yeah, 
Overall, though, XP should be in, in C9's favor slightly. Actually, not not even, because Danny was getting XP that whole time on the wave. I was thinking, like, the kills give them the XP lead, and the, the Herald gives them the gold lead on the other side, but that's not even true. He's living the Aphelios dream, dude. This is why people play Aphelios for this moment right here. Turrets. Run around killing turrets with red, white gun. Yeah, that's true. Part of me just feels like uh, C9 should have known their win condition on that Herald timing, which is, like... You probably shouldn't leave bot lane. And also, are your champs really that good at fighting the Herald there? I don't really think so. I think Jinx definitely needs more time. They just have to pick the people. They have good catch with Thresh, Lux, Jarvan, but... Does Impact just... He's... Oh! Oh my uh, god. Stretch. It's Still a 1v2. Works. Works. No. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why did he just shoot everything into her W? Oh I don't think Fletch has ever played God. for his in his life. He should probably try playing top lane a bit. That would help him understand the champs. Bruh. That was disgusting. Wait. Ooh. Oh. He has Gale Force up too. Gale's that still was... up. Gale's still up. This is this is Gale oh, Auto. This is Gale Auto dead. Oh no, he's heal. heal. He's Flash Gale Auto. And Guardian. Wait, 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 or die with the old, like he's so fucking mental boomed right now. It's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, thinking, the blue ooh. steel. This is how it all starts, dude. This is how comebacks start off of a simple buff steel. Honestly, if I'm blabber and my fucking mid laner, uh, I'm three one, my mid laner takes blue. I'm just gonna open. There's just no point. Right, watch, watch how fudge plays yeah, this. Yeah, by watch the way. fudge. <laughs> it's so disturbing. The W's down. It's not even like he did it reactionary. What am I watching? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck did you think no. was gonna happen, dude? Oh my god. That was actually fucking insane to see. First time against Gwyn. That's what it felt like. That's so wild. Dude, C9 is just mental boom. Like, they're, they're making swap, mistakes go. that no one would fucking make these mistakes. Unless they're mental boomed as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. No, big time, big time. Both AD carries, not upgrading boots. How do you feel about this? Control. Like really? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, conflicting I like it. answers. I think. Fight. 1v1. Well, okay, like, before first item, obviously, I don't like upgrading it. But after first, it's just better than a zeal. Just def definitively. It, it is, it is. But... You're already behind, right? Like, so from the Jinx's perspective, the only way that you could possibly catch up in terms of damage is being two items to two items. That's the way I, I yeah, think about it. Yeah, but... I mean, like, if you're talking about damage output, like, the boots is still just better in every way. It's better move speed, it's better damage. The only thing is just, like, you're mental, you're like, I'm not behind, you see two items to two items. But he has the fucking the tier two boot and the pickaxe over you. I think like, what is the equivalent here? Zeal. Ah, uh, wait. I, I, actually, you could be right. I'm thinking about your perspective again. So it's like zeal, two long swords, and tier two boots versus having no tier two boots and like finished PD. I think you're right. It yeah. does Dude, do more damage. Yeah, yeah sneaky. You just solo damage. kill, double lift, hardcore. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah, I mean, just kill. the raw stats of it. You just got yeah. outplayed hard, dude. God, I'm willing to do that. Like, if, I, think, if, I think that makes sense. The raw stats are better on tier two boots. Yeah. Holy like, fuck! Like, I mean, if, if you got like a a full buy on a PD, just from like, you know, your gold values ending up that way, then it's fine. I don't, I don't mind that. But no, I mean, if you have like short gold, then buying boots yeah, is even, better. Even what you're saying though, even if you do have the full buy like right away. Just yeah, you still be stronger. Good. Statistically, it's still better to go the tier two boots. Yeah. Because yeah, like I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about the boots full. Give so much attack speed, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. The the full stat bonus of having the only reason why you wouldn't is if you think the PD passive is worth like a shit ton. Yeah. 
and I, I don't think it is. I'm just like thinking about the full stat benefit. Oh, Lux dude, Lux is gold. in debt. Oh, he's getting How's fucked that get badly. He, he's negative gold. The loan sharks, man, they got him. Mine is ninety-five. <laughs> Yo, what if you get banned in League if you end a game with negative gold from Futures Market? Because you didn't pay it back and you have to buy Riot points to get out of debt. Ooh. Well then, c would all be fucking banned by the end of the season. I think it'd be cool if there was like something you could spend Riot points on to start with like extra gold in a game or something. That would be uh, sick. Blabber? See a blabber. What uh, the that's, fuck? That's just, that's good play by, that's just good play by warding the Lantern. Like, that's why you never rely on the Lantern to get you out of situations <laughs> like that. Huh. I think... He just walked I like it when up and died. Ping where they're gonna throw the lantern before they throw it, so you're already ready to click it, so they can't actually yeah. block it. That's true. Oh, they kind of caught Isles, but actually it might oh, be Tom Impact Kenshu's has a caught. fat fucking flank. He does. He does. Sven but gets Sven the got reset. A reset. Oh, Sven uh, is dead anyways. He's dead as hell. So balanced. Wow. Dude. I think. I, I he just Gwen. ran their backline over with. Dude, Gwen is just no so fucking... fun and cool and like, immune. Actually. And <laughs> They have to go Baron here, huh? Because that lay the Lux. 30 seconds on drag. Is EG going to focus on drag too? Or are they going to give this one? They might be able to just go to drag from Baron. Yeah, just do the walk. I love doing the walk cross map. <laughs> oh, wait. No, not not fast enough. Oh, maybe, maybe. maybe, they, maybe, they, maybe, stalled. maybe, maybe. they stopped hitting. Okay. Oh, smart, smart. Oh. Ooh. Big damage. First strike steals that Baron every time. Oh, they're, not, they're not gonna walk. No. They should still they're get not. it. No, I think I think uh, C9 might have a chance off that recall timing. We'll see. Gosh, if Isles just flashes it and then hooks Tom immediately, he doesn't die and Tom dies for free. And then he's still alive to peel the Gwen. It's a good that, flash that right there. That right there is a Gale Force like special. Killing squishy assassins like that, that are low HP. Uh -huh. Fucking Lux into Gwyn, dude. I can't think of a worse champion interaction than that. <laughs> yeah. Gwen is immune. Just straight up, you don't even get rooted. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. I, I wonder if Riot's ever gonna like look at her W again, because this shit seems like real hard to balance. Early Zonia's by impacts. Oh. He actually wow, Tom Kench actually did something. Tom Kench did Wait. it, guys. Oh my god. Oh, I've seen that before. I've been there. Jinx just got murdered. How does an 80 carry get killed by Victor? Hmm. Your positioning has to be so bad for that to happen. Yeah, Jojo so uh, true. Fla just, just just checking Jojo's flash. I think he might have maybe uh given him the given him oh. the business. Oh, Oh my <laughs> god. Wait, wait that a sec. Is so <laughs> tilting. Jojo's styling. Jojo's styling. Yo. What oh the my fuck? Yo, god. he just gave it to him like that. No <laughs> fucking way. Dude, you're, you're getting clowned on the whole fucking That's funny. series by Jojo, and Fudge is smiling right now. He has an unbreakable mental. God damn. He's literally getting fucking worked so disgustingly hard. I feel like I'm watching Fake God versus. Whippo again. It's just disturbing. <laughs> Holy yeah, dude, this moly. Is, uh... dude, I, this I think is a the beating. the Gwen W is very similar to like a Kali fucking under turrets with her W. Yeah. Going stealth. I, I think it's something they will reconsider in the future. Because it's on the same level of fucking so dumb to play against. It's just too good against it's certain it's... things. Pro players are going to take broken mechanics like Yumi and Gwen and whatever, and they're going to crank it up to the absolute maximum abuse case possible because that's what you you know that's what you have to do to win. Fucking Gwen, man! Every time I see this champ, it just wins. Yesterday, today, like two weeks ago, fucking lock-in tournament starting. Oh. Gwen is Gwen is looking like a power pick top. What's yeah. the timer? It's like seven I think it's minutes? really greedy as Eight well minutes. that Darshan's grabbing a wave under turret when Gwen is walking to this fight. I think you definitely, unless it's like the fattest wave ever, in which case I don't know why C9 would be hitting Harold. It's pretty fat. I could see it on like the corner. Yeah, I mean, maybe a strange time for C9 to be like, starting to look at it again. It. 
it, it's a real yeah. weird situation. It, it looks like C9 thinks it's free. Yeah, because Aphelios is bottom. Like, they're thinking no one's going to contest him. But then that, that's why I'm saying it's a 4v5, right? It's like, even if the fight technically starts 4v3... Like it will be 4v5 soon. I, I agree. I think uh, one of the rules that we had on Team Liquid, which actually helped Impact here being on the reverse side, is you shouldn't start Herald when the enemy top is building a wave. Um, you should always try to get your top laner in a position where he's got the inside track, and the inside track would be he's kind of gatekeeping in River the enemy top laner from being there. So if the enemy top laner wants to walk, he's kind of the bouncer. Um, and in this case, Impact's the bouncer, right? Like, he's, he's kind of just yeah. wedging himself between... Akali and the rest of the fight, and it's like it's just awkward. Yeah, you never really a... want to start Harold in these situations. For um, sure, set it's up only first. good for mid and bot, but not top. I, yeah. I want to see how Blabber held the Harold too, because one thing with Harold is that like you don't have to fight it in its pit. Like you can pull it pretty far to the side here. Yeah, like you could pull Harold to where Isles was standing for this engage, and then it's. Probably better positioning for your team. Kali can get there faster. Yeah, I think the, the the only reason why people don't do that, and I, I totally agree with you that that's like the most efficient or the most effective way to take it is is because they want to get it done as fast as possible, and like pulling it is gonna increase the amount of time it takes to kill. And then, you know, in that case, like maybe Zvan is feeling really pressure, like we gotta take it fast, guys. Fucking Ophelius is beating my turret's ass. Like, you know, it's like the 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 timer is on because it's a five v four situation, and one person's just like freely hitting turrets and pushing waves. You feel kind of like, I want to get this Herald ASAP, but it's still way safer if you just pull it and waste, or like spend those five seconds getting in the right spot. Yeah, um, I'm not convinced it adds five seconds to the total kill time, because like you can still be hitting the Herald while it's moving. Oh, really? Like but the jungler I've... the jungler leashes it while like another person hits it? I, I, yeah, I guess you could do that. I mean, that. like you hit the eyeball and then it's not going to open its eye for a few seconds. You just walk away while, while attacking. Oh, that's true. That's true. But I mean, I get what you're saying. Like people, that is probably what they were thinking. They were just feeling yeah. rushed, so they didn't take the time. But yeah, that's something that I started doing. It's I don't remember what point in time, but I I realized that a lot of time I was just defaulting to doing the thing at the at the spawn dragon or herald, but actually pulling it toward the lane that you're playing to can give you a lot nicer position. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 That, that, that herald looks that so were bad. Not met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. It's uh, it's still like a, on a core concept. Like what C nine is doing is a play you can go for, right? Like if you're losing, you just be like, all right, we're just gonna fucking sack bot. We're gonna like play on two lanes here. Like we got five people. Yeah. Eg, just some, like it, I think C nine kind of misplayed it because they were feeling rushed. Like ideally, you'd want one of your laners at least to be able to come to this herald before you start it. Yeah. There was no connection with with top. That's got to be the most important step for Harold. I think a lot of teams get fucked that way, uh, and it's something that we can look for in, in future games too. Is like, what's the top condition like for the team that's starting Harold? Like, did they actually involve their top laner in like the decision to start it? I think one guilt, one thing that happens a lot of time when top laners are losing is they feel guilty, so they're not going to be like, no, no, don't start Harold right now. You know, like it's it's so fucking bad for me. They they kind of was like, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you can start it. I'll, I'll, I'll come, but like, yeah, no, it's, it's not really possible, <laughs> right? Like, you don't want to be the no guy, but sometimes you just have to say no fucking way. We're we're doing it. Jungle is definitely the most interesting role in the game because your like moment to moment decisions are always there's so many and there's so many possibilities. You have to like be so intuitive about the game to make the best decision every second. It's just, yeah, it's so stressful, but it's also probably like very. Um, it's exciting because there's almost no game where you couldn't have done something a little differently. As opposed to, I don't know, playing a lane where sometimes you're just, you're jerking it. Yep. And th that's, that's definitely something that I've, you know, spent most of my career thinking about. It's just like, what is the best thing to be doing as jungler at any given time? And there's so many different ways that you can approach it. Like, just different perspectives to look at it that'll give you different answers. And it's just trying to figure out, you know, like, what do you like? What is your team comfortable playing with? Like, what does your team agree is the best thing they'll be looking for? Yeah. What do you think is more enjoyable? Playing jungle for a competitive team, just a regular, not not first place, not dead last place competitive team, or just solo queue jungling? I would say competitive. Um, I'm assuming you don't have any like 
fucking abusive teammates, which normally everyone's pretty chill. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, jungling is a lot of fun when you play with a team because you can just kind of learn with them. And the longer you play with them, you sort of like explain why you do certain things and when they're vulnerable, that kind of stuff. And then you, it's kind of like you work together as a team against their jungler. It's not like, you know, I'm just sitting here fucking sweating about th my three laners trying to kill themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think competitive feels better because people will like... It's more about information-based. I feel like it's more... Um trying to like outthink the opponent rather than just like, Oh, I'm going to show up to this lane. Hope they didn't ward it and kill himself while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I love the little like random team dynamics that you learn when you play on a competitive team. You know, have you ever played with, have you guys ever played with someone where you can't trust their calls? Cause they'll say like, this guy's no flash and he has it or this place oh, is not dude. warded, but it All is. All the time. It wasn't like, oh my it, it was God. like rotationally. It wasn't like you could never trust the calls again, but like they had just times where it was like, all right, like anything they say is just the opposite. Just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Do not listen. <laughs> it's like we can dive, but like there's no way you could ever dive that. <laughs> Go for it. You're like, uh, shit, dude. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, there's a place you know they're just making calls because they, they need something. They're like, yo, uh, we can make a play mid. No words, no sums. It's really aggressive. And I'm just like, I doubt any of those are true. I think you just want to come mid on the off chance that it works. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the replay, it's warded both sides. He's been hugging his own turret the whole game. Oh, yeah, and man. I'm just like, why did you call me here? And they're like, oh, He's you know, I mean, like... it, it could have worked. Like, oh, it's flashes down now. That's fine. It, it could have worked. You, you, no, actually, the one that gets me the most is they make some like really aggressive suggestion like that, like, yo, yo, mid is so free, mid is so free, and then afterwards you go mid, it doesn't work. They're like, you didn't have to come. I was just, I was just giving options. I'm like, <laughs> dude, fuck off. Like the way you that were saying lighting. it, that was a fucking demand. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't give me that. Shit. <laughs> or, or, or like the. I've I've been guilty of this too, where you say like, uh, yeah, I kind of need you to come, or I'm kind of I'm pretty fucked. And then the jungler comes, like nothing really changes. And then after the game, talk about it, like, yeah, I was just I was just giving an option, you know. Lane was like pretty shit. I could have totally died to a gang there. Dude, you totally don't have to come when I when I give you a suggestion. <laughs> and then no, here's the next step. I'm start I, afterwards. I start being okay. I'll just call off things, and then it'll be like. You know, your teammates are getting less comfortable making calls because you, you don't go with them. Like, you call them off and just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> stop just coming up with random problems. There's no solutions here, dude. Like, uh, yeah, God dude. damn it. One problem I, leads to the next I've been, problem. I've been really guilty of, like, after team fights. That's why when I'm streaming, I'm always like, did this guy flash? I'm not really sure. Because sometimes, like, in a team fight, like, two out of three people will flash. And you'll be like, who's the guy who still has it? And I have, like, terrible memory. So yeah. I'm always like asking, sometimes I'll ask chat, sometimes I'll ask my teammates, like, did this guy flash? Because I'm so scarred from making like the X player no flash call, my jungler comes, yeah, he, like, flash yeah. Jarman ults the guy, and then he flashes out, and I'm like, oh shit, dude. I mean, it's better I not call. to call that he doesn't have flash if you're not confident. Yeah, I, yeah. I do not try to like fucking make like the no flash calls anymore, because I, I hate when my teammates bait me, someone has no flash, like I flash in, try to kill them, and then I just die, and I look like a dumbass. Yeah, like, I mean, it's super man. valuable when someone is really confident and like they're hundred percent right when they call it, like that. Yeah, it's like yeah, this guy's sure. no flash. It's like, oh shit, let's go. Yeah, That's a condition. I, I really like the I, I like the idea of having like different levels of confidence that people will call things too, which I've I've seen some people like not understand it or think it's like you know bad to make a call unless you're totally confident. But you but you know I think they flash. I'm not sure. Rather than yeah. just be feeling like you have to be like, oh yeah, definitely no flash. Because if you, if you make a really confident call and you're wrong, then it's like hard to trust you. But if you were like kind of in the middle about it, then it's like, yeah, you know. Yeah. I wish tell. I had like photographic memory, like some people that I've played with, where they can play a team fight. And after the team fight, they're always right about who flashed. Even though there's like, th you know, in, in a fucking team fight where like there's eight flashes, including your team. They'll still be able to know. Yeah, you kind of have to like replay the fight in your head to remember who flashed. Dude, I don't know. Some people just have amazing memory. I I don't get it. I can't do that. Like, if there's a team fight with nine flashes and one person still has it, I'm unless it all happened really slowly, I'm probably not gonna be able to remember who's the one with with flash. Dude, still. that'd be an interesting test actually. Like a no yeah. UI, like a team fight plays out and it's like, all right, 
Who still has Flash? We we did that on Team Liquid. We would like play a team fight, and then the coach would ask us a question about the team fight afterwards. Like, okay, so who flashed, or like who still has ult? And it would be like it would be a five second team fight. It'd be like a really fast one. Sometimes it was like funny because I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, we all kind of sucked at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard because everyone's watching different things and everyone has like a different perspective. Yeah. But uh, by the way, C9 just first picked Udir. Is that a yeah. wait, good jungler? I don't know. Right now? What the fuck? I haven't this seen him. The, this is I a haven't seen him. quick 3-0. Typically, there's, if Udir is a good champion, one of the many Udir one tricks in Hyelo is going to be high challenger. So I'm going to lean on no, Udir is not good right now. <laughs> True. That's a funny metric. Yeah, one tricks are the greatest measure, right? If Kane is good, Charisma is super high rated. If Hecarim's good, Doanel's high rated. Like... It's just one tricks measure how strong the champion is. Oh, I think you forgot about Turd Blaster, of course. Who the fuck is Turd Blaster? What? You haven't seen him? Oh, oh my the god. Cane player? Yes, oh my god. he's the cane terrorist. He's so that... bad. He's literally but he a terrorist. Somehow wins. They just picked Let's not... Karth that's Sadie Carry, by the way. Yeah, I think this is a C9. Which is your top? Sven is Sven would probably get really good use out of his passive. First strike, first playing. strike. Come on, first strike. Oh, dude, no way he's not going first strike. You're fucking trolling if you're going Dark Harvest this game. He's gonna farm him. Yeah, you're you're fucking legit griefing if you go Dark Harvest in against quad tanks, like quad tanky jams. Huh. Okay, what do you guys think is gonna happen this game? Is he not uh, gonna pull it back or is it just the fattest fucking stomp? Over under twenty minute win. Are they not swap okay he just says crow <clears throat> i actually have more faith in fudge playing a top lane champion mid than mid lane champs so i think it's more even and i like i like c9's draft a lot it it has good setup for trindamir nautilus and karthus obviously gonna help trindamir you like this comp? Reset. and it's like done, a bit of a you. fucking weird ass comp where like I can maybe see like Trinomir dying after his ulti and getting revived by action or some crazy bullshit happening. I still I still give it to EG because they're the better team, but I like C9's comp. It's pretty fun to, it's, to watch. It looks like one of those comps where fun it's like, for sure. fuck it, dude. Just just everyone pick what you feel like playing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> dude, let's just have fun. Comfort picks. Like, just let's untilt. Let's just, you know, have a good time. Remember why we're here. Coach gave a big it. pep talk before this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna predict that JoJo is gonna go like 50 CS or maybe like 80 CS ahead of Trent. Damn, Trent's pretty good <laughs> at farming though. Huh? Trent's pretty good at farming though. Perfect. Yeah, but he got counterpick, and I, I think he must know something about Trent mid counterpick since he plays it himself. True. I have some faith in him. Whoa! What the fuck is going on? Oh, he's blasting. Oh, Impact's gonna miss CS for that. He's gonna miss XP. Huge. Oh no. Oh wait, maybe he's not. Uh, he's not. He's gonna get it. No. Definitely didn't. Oh, he's get not it. gonna get it. Damn. Big that zone. Sucks for him. Interesting. That's really, I kinda, really insane. I kind of thought he was just gonna take a couple autos to get in the yeah. XP range, but maybe that wouldn't be worth it. Maybe you just lose way too much health for that. It, got, it has to be worth it. Three melees is so much XP. Now he's yeah. diveable. If I'm Udyr here, I'm like, or if I'm Dar Darshan, I'm calling. I have Ignite. He's fucked on XP. Come dive. Really? Gragas is not tanky, bro. He's fucking Comet Gragas. He's gonna die. I think you can path up there, but I don't think you should commit to a dive call just off three missed melees. I think it's just going to be the uber stacked wave that makes the difference. Like, a Omega stacked wave and top laner having ignite makes the dive, like, pretty easy to pull off. Ooh. Yeah, I mean... Oh, why didn't he just go in there? Darshan messed up the E, no? He should go forward. Not into turret, but, like, fucking dive smack him. his ass. Level dive 3, him. level 1. This does look pretty diveable. Yeah. Slow it down a bit right here if you can. Just do it as the slow as possible. The only thing you possible. have to worry about is this and Jow's around. Yeah, that's true. Which is, yep. I kind of like what Blabber's doing, like, he's grabbing his camps on the way, and then the dive could still be possible. But if Xin Zhao's there, which, you know, it doesn't even have to be Xin Zhao, it can be literally anyone. Like, if we see Vulcan coming top right here. 
Uh, with yeah. Zijiao. And, and, and Vulcan is actually fucking moving top to defend uh -oh. impact on this dive. That's, yeah. that's insane. But he dies, he dies too fast. It's too fast. He's going to die before any of this stuff happens. Oh. True. Wait. Yep. But oh. Bye -bye. Oh. Hey. Oh, close. wow. That was so oh. close. That is super Omega worth it for EG, actually. Yeah, that's that's the thing, that's... and th that's kind of why I like Blabber grabbing his camps on the way top. Because if he if he skip camps to go for this play, and then that was the result, he would be real fucked. Yeah. One thing to consider about this bot matchup is normally Braum doesn't get to run cross map from bot to top lane at level two, but because it's <laughs> Karthus, that's actually allowed even against someone as weak as Jinx. Um, so Sven is Sven is kind of like picking this champion, assuming it's going to be really good later in the game, but like. He's creating a fucked up situation for his team where like they just never have control around bot lane. Yep. I, I really like Volk. I, I've always thought he had very smart map movement, and I guess a lot of good supports too, but just recognizing the situation uh -oh. to move from bot all the way top at level two to cover the Gragas dive. Yeah. Granted, no, it, impact it is, didn't go perfectly. Is very, them, very dead here. Maybe. Oh. Wow. He was. He was actually dead. Impact just getting blasted. I mean, he, yeah. He is, uh. Not in the most fun spots. Impact's that does fucked. Seem pretty weird. He's so fucked. How is he ever going to lane again? He can't even walk up to that frozen wave. Oh? Oh? oh Double my ghost? God, committing? That's fine. I bet if he got a crit or two, he would have flashed on him. Ghost for yeah. ghost. That has to be the most toxic fucking... Like, people should hate playing against Shinmir because how can you ever predict his damage? You can't. It's all based uh -oh. on crits. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's dead. He's, he's literally dead. dead. Impact's dead, yes. He's so dead. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, my God. It's a Darshan's monster stomp. Smurfing. I mean, this is a fucked situation for Impact. I guess it, from his perspective, it's better just to die and get the wave unfrozen than to just stand there and never farm again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But man, action is action is an insane carry. Oh, so Impact gets baited because Darshan's in the bush. Oh, yeah, wow. I think he just didn't recognize the danger. Darshan had a nice E, got a lot of damage on him with it. <laughs> Impact yeah. disrespected a bit by eing in there on Darshan, but I don't know. I think, it, I think it whether he's really like in or out, he's dead. Die. Yeah. Yeah, the, the E forward at least might in some universe cancel Darshan's E. I don't know. Probably not, but... Yeah, I think Impact's oh, okay if he so plays bad. with his minion wave there. The crazy thing is that AK Sean only has 51 CS. Like, he is... Not that strong. I mean, he he's two fucking solo kills in, but or two kills in, I should say. But like, uh oh, lane swap. It's lane swap. Pretty smart, I think. I think Gragas laning versus Karthus is kind of the best they can ask for at the end of this whole play. Ass. Oh. What Dude, the hell is going on? Oh. Impact just whiffed an ulti fake god style. Wait. He can't hit the eyeball. There you go. I think it's a smart by EG. It's a great way to get impact out of the lane situation rather than Inspire just running up there, getting TD1. Yeah. They just make a full map switch. Yeah, that was great. That's absolutely amazing for them. You're really behind, roughly 2,000 gold down, and what do you do? You make a tempo play with your winning lane to bail out your losing lane, and. Uh, now the lane Tarshan doesn't get the snowball anymore. Whoa, oh, but Mr. Stealthy. Oh, Mr. Stealthy, man. Oh, wait, they have the ward, but he's invisible. Indivisible. Yep. What, what can they do with this, though? Nothing, I guess he's just getting nothing XP. can happen. He's just going to get XP. Yo, if they leave Danny alone for some reason, though, I feel like he'll look for a solo kill. Oh, he will fucking destroy him. Danny should be real careful as he's resetting. If he resets in a dumb spot, he just gets soloed. Art. Yo, really yo, this, this is yo, so fucking yo. unexpected. Yo. No, I, I think is no. Darshan's gonna get 
baited, maybe? Oh. Oh! Card the soul! Bye bye! Card the soul team. Bye bye, bye bye. Oh, wow. What a play, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> what a fucking play. <laughs> That's that was actually huge. fucked up. <laughs> he was even on a ward, dude. That's. I would be so mind fucked if I was EG. That was really yeah. unexpected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it was fucked. Damn, dude. Nice fucking Gotta check play. those angles for fucking AK Sean. He is a stealth yeah. champ. I this is guess. when you play the He's clip He's a perma-stealth champ, I mean, like, would you, would you play the same way if you were playing against Eve? Fuck no. You just forget. Yeah, you have to consider action as in a perma-stealth like Eve. Uh-huh. I, oh I always gosh. forget about his stealth, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I've gotten fucked by it enough times where I always have to think about it. And I played against Kryra. That guy terrorizes Hilo. It's like Eve Twitch. Like, it's the same exact situations. You just forget that action yeah. can do it. Uh, I played him in a real game, like, last week, actually. A I real, was normal game. at his grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, so I fun. Yeah, re I remember one, one action I saw recently. It was <laughs> Two down. quite insane. <laughs> was it Darshan? Yeah. It was Darshan right now. Oh. oh. Ooh. Jojo. Nice no flash. There. They're all and dead. Darshan's gone. Wow. But... And nice there flash goes the oh. shutdown. Oh! What the fuck? Oh! Fucking snipes his was... ass. Dude, how the fuck is that a good play for, for EG? That's amazing. They were hard stacked, C9. Like... Impact's E flash there needs to be replayed. He did a great fucking... I mean, it wasn't that hard to do, but the timing of it was so amazing because it let JoJo live one more second to get more damage off. Hope they replay. I, like, I, I really like that small action E Darshan did, even though like played an animal for them. That shit was cool. <laughs> I'd love to see Just it. Spun all the way around the corner. A nice little quick run it. Blasting there. I mean, dude, look, it was tight. It was cool, and then he died and was it in was a terrible cool, spot. Sneaky, and you're jealous. <laughs> Whoa. So he, oh wow, that was really cool. It's a play you do if someone's actually by themselves, but their entire team was there. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yep. And here's where I the snipe comes didn't in. I didn't think the whole team was there. Danny snipes oh. with his... Dude, Danny snipes with his ulti, and then Vulcan. What a great, like, alley-oop by both of them to hit that. Yeah. They both... Oh, shit. Fucking weave skills. Isles is there. fine, but... Mm, how does Blabber get out of this one? Mm. Oh, well, I Honestly, think that's yeah. a trick he doesn't. Just, oh. Oh, Rice is just ulti. Yes, yes. Oh. This first pick of here is kind of just fucking... Invisible. Wow. Everfrost, are you serious? Oh! The rage ult, let's go, farm up that gold. Wait. First strike. Actually, wait, he doesn't get first strike. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't even get go gold off. While dead. That That's awkward. such a waste. <laughs> I think he might have thought that that was a kill opportunity for Fudge, but uh, phase rush is kind of broken. Shouldn't he just spam his ult on cooldown, Karthus? Yeah. I feel like he should, until he's like, yeah. fed enough. Like two or three items, and then you can maybe think about fighting only. Yeah, I, I think you definitely just press him on cooldown. You just get a fuck ton of gold. You lose so, pressure, but whatever. I just saw that Goku was on my what's happening trending tab. I was scrolling through to see why. Found literally nothing. About 10 pages deep, I saw Goku fucking go Gohan's ass. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know why that was That's in there. That's the only thing he said the whole game? <laughs> yeah, have you been even watching the game? Yes. But I was just scrolling through. <laughs> why the fuck was it in there? <laughs> that is so weird how that made what it on my desktop folder. Like, what the fuck? That yeah, is uh, bizarre. <laughs> Is that related to anything you've been searching recently? I think that's usually how the algorithm works. Go ahead, go do what I just did. See why Goku's trending. It had nothing to do with it, by the way. The, like, I don't know Does why it, it was trending. If Goku Goku's trending? wasn't trending, you just made it trending, bro. No, it was. I don't know why. I still don't know why. <laughs> I think you know uh, why. Dude, I think that's specialized for you because I don't have Goku trending anywhere. <laughs> On my Twitter? <laughs> on my Twitter. I, it's gone I for me, Tom too. Tom Brady. Oh, Baylor. so it's just all of a sudden it's gone for, for you. I yes. see. 
Yeah, I'm not really seeing any Goku anywhere. Dude, Sneaky, <laughs> you have to share the drugs you're on this morning. Does this have anything to do with Medios' vase? <clears throat> uh, I did take a visit to the vase. The great Dude, vase. You're really fucking deep breathing <laughs> with my vase. <laughs> it's like I, I gasped at the magnificence of your vase. Mm -hmm. Dude, wouldn't it be awesome to do a video series of a bunch of people just getting high as fuck and then playing League together? <laughs> okay, you want to do it? I keep asking you I guys mean, I, I, content I would, outside of Coast Rooms. You guys never like want to do personally, content. Personally, but I'm just saying I would watch it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. see, I see. You would never stoop so low. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> a good Christian boy. <laughs> good Christian boy? Well, I mean, like, we don't... We can just like pretend to get high. We don't actually have to like smoke like real weed. We could do the like, uh, like stage oh, yeah. weed. I, I don't do pot. Oh, okay. I get high on life sometimes though. Or like good vibes. Me too. My dopamine is always running on life. Nice. We can I smoke some oregano. running on life. So woke. Oh, whoa! Big engage. Uh oh, a fake god looking alt coming fake out god here. Ass. Holy fuck! Oh, Fudge is in that ass. Inspired's in trouble. Oh, crit him, Fudge. Crit him. Oh, exhausted. Sorry, you don't get to play anymore. What's happening? Full face exhaust. Wow. I'm winning? sorry you wanted to play this one, Fudge. I regret to inform you that uh, Vulcan decided you would not. Holy shit! C9's winning. Oh, wait, Danny's dead. Bye bye. Holy Ooh, shit. I Darshan, I Dude, honestly, action is <laughs> Uh-oh, he pulled a double lift. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would never do such a thing. <clears throat> Mr. Spinman. One of my favorite things to watch in league is when good teams make mistakes, just seeing what they do to try to recover from them. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes they'll just have like a fuck early game, get behind. I think that's where you can learn a lot about the game is just seeing what they start prioritizing when like they can't get everything. Yeah, true. Like how to play defensive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how what to do play they value the fucked most? up game set. What decisions do they make based I off liked, what info? I liked Bubba's interview yesterday where he's saying like, I, I like to be comfortable when the game's uncomfortable. And like, that's a sign of a really good team is, you know, if the game is easy and you're snowballing, like every fucking player can play a snowballed game. Of a game where you're winning lane, a game where your jungle is really ahead, but not a lot of people are are comfortable when it's like a tight game and your win condition is really narrow, and like you have to get creative or like you have to play like super aware of like what can happen because you don't have good vision. That's like when I love. <clears throat> I mean, I guess a good player can really shine. Yeah, I think JoJo is doing a good job when the game is uncomfortable i feel like he doesn't crumble like a lot of rookie players would hmm. he seems pretty fucking aware for being like a player who's just made it in lcs yeah i think he's played a lot of solo queue yeah it has trained like, him obviously there are some things you can't learn but like you can definitely practice shit like awareness and just playing a lot of games seeing a lot of different shit of all of the players that I've seen, that, like rookies coming the LCS, JoJo's died the least to like plays made on him. Yeah. People try to make plays on JoJo all the fucking time. It just doesn't work. That's a really good point. Whoa! Oh. What's happening here? What's happening here? Oh my God! He's hitting every Q. He's hitting the every ghost Q. to ghost to coast. There's no way. Catch he doesn't right. ever catch him, yeah. Fuck, oh, Tryndamere is so fast, dude. That was <laughs> not a close fight. Well, they both oh. ghosted. Oh. oh, no. It's another for fun ulti. Man, no. is Fudge ever going to be able to do anything to rise this game? Like, look at that fucking build. I suppose dude, not. I think you should just Maybe wait until Tryndamere gets scaled. Tryndamere is going to hard gig out scale rise, and at a certain point, he'll just stand there face tanking those cues and just beat his ass. Wait. Really? No way. I think so. Yeah, no I, I, way. I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. I Dude, think it's pretty Trindamere's, close. Tryndamere's raw damage with six second invulnerability, of course he's going to win. I mean, rise is so much CC to just lock him out and run. 
But when Trinomir's on you, he's on you forever. He's like perma critting and not against his equal down. Rise though. Oh no, I, th I think he wins. And he has Garthus, but that's like aside the point, I guess. I mean, they both have Ghost. Like the reason Trin can usually catch you is because of Ghost, but Rise matched. Yeah, that is true. I just feel like if I don't think Rise gets... like wins, but I don't think Rise dies. I think Rise will get to a point with the tank build where he doesn't do enough damage to like affect Trindamir. Maybe. Well, I mean, he's not gonna build more I tank. I have no idea. He's gonna go yeah, AP from does, here. What does Rise build from from this point? Just build like, wow, he has 90 AP. <laughs> yeah, he is. I mean, what, what could he build that's good? That's right? fucking like a, low. Like yeah, a death cap void is gonna get him to like 300 AP, guys. Like that shit is like maybe 400. Yeah. Sounds like know. the item city should build though, right? I guess. Over. Love that play. They saw two in the side, so they know it's 4v3 mid, and he just blows a flash for his ulti before he walks back to the top. Good idea. I'm actually really worried about the Jinx. Like, what is what is her next item? Is it BT? She's doing no damage, and she actually really needs the Lord Doms, like, badly. What's the next build here? I think you just go Lord Doms and hold on to the vamp. Let's see. Going BT. He's going BT, 100%. Damn. That's a shame. Jinx needs damage. They don't have a lot of damage. It's it's double tank top top and mid. Like obviously they're not full tank, but Jinx needs to do enough damage to kill people. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Yeah, he might just die. Karthus yeah, though. It, Probably would be scared. Does him. Seem like for his, he has okay peel. He's got Brahmin Gragas who can peel for him. Yeah. So I think he could probably get away with Lord Dom's first. But with when you're getting Karthus ult and shit, I, I don't hate the BT. It seems like it's gonna help a lot, make him harder to kill. I think it's it also has to do though when with wh whether or not you're winning or losing. And I think when you're losing, and you build more defensively, it's harder to come back than if you just build blast cannon. Hmm. The, I feel like a lot of teams have this um, get get to a point where they're so behind they just they will never have enough damage to threaten to kill on someone. So, yeah, I, I can see that. I remember when a Reckless interview in like season nine where he's saying like, at, at a certain point we realized we're so behind and like, and Nemesis just said, we're, we're, we're really behind. Everyone just built full damage and then they, they, they like came back that game and so that's why they interviewed Reckless and he's like, yeah, because like our mentality is like, we'll oh. never kill anyone if we build defensively. Oh, oh. dude, this is this is actually the payoff for the early play. Oh, they don't kill them. You think that's old? <laughs> oh, what a lock oh. in. Oh, what the fuck? Not always, no, but it's a good rule of thumb, I think. For AD carry, I think, for sure. Yeah. For carries, I think it makes a lot of sense. I'm trying to think, like, on a lot of junglers, I think if I do that, it's kind of troll. Oh, dude, yeah. Your, your damage won't even matter if you're fucking behind on, like, Jarvan jungle anyways. You're going to build a fucking, like, full lethality Jarvan when you're behind? No way. Oh! Ooh. Flash hook the wall. Hate to see it. What's happening here? Fudge can't this go in. Super winning for EG. Super, super winning for EG. What? Oh my god. They're gonna get run down. Go. They're gonna Wait. get run down. Oh Everyone's my god. Dead. No! Fudge! Fudge a had a pretty limp bug. dick fight for C9 right there. Dude, wow. he griefed so Fudge hard back to back. Not just the R. Did you see what he did? He like eat over the wall and he's like, oh fuck. And he flashed in on the middle. Wait. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Pentakill! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got him. Wait. Wait, he doesn't revive. It's not the scoundrel. It was oh, Danny. Oh, yeah, yeah. It just changed. Oh, my God. If he re I, I really wish he revived his whole team there. And that would have been back. fucking hilarious. Dude, he can only revive one person, videos. Where'd Rice's items go? What the hell? <laughs> and that's a 3 0. Dude, Fudge's Arky was bugged. Fuck. That's unlucky. Damn. And I think mid lane matchup was bugged. It looked like he was getting gapped, even though he's the fudge maker. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think Sven should have literally been sp spamming his R. That's Garthus. Oh. Just farm out that Isles gold. flash hook wall into the hooking the wall again. Do you guys want to watch that last team fight again? My chat says that Isles hooked the wall twice in a row. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to watch it again. That's w funny. Watch fudge too. He fucking griefed it. 
I'll check the the hook though. <laughs> no I shot, definitely saw one again. of them. I didn't see oh, the shot. He does it again. Okay, flash Q. R. No shot. He does it twice. I'm watching. I'm no, watching. no. He hooked. He hooked the champion that time. Flash hook wall. That that's embarrassing. He hooked rise. That's the play you get called old for. Yeah. Let's just let's just check what the fudge maker's up to. Yeah, watch fudge. Oh my gosh. So he's oh not going gosh, in, man. which you know oh my gosh, seems kind of doomed. And he e's over the wall for nothing, and he flashes back oh. in. Oh my god, man. Insta dies. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Damn, I think fudge played that perfectly. <laughs> Unlucky, I suppose. Let's just let's just be honest though. C9's start was cursed too. The situation's not good. Wait, what? What do you mean? Well, I mean, look at how it started. Nautilus flash hooked a wall, oh, and then oh. they're still calling yeah, to yeah. go. They still like the fact that I, I I actually got to commend the teams that have the self restraint when the engage fails. Don't keep going. Just yeah. let them walk away. Because Blabber, like, should know that the, the engage is over when the flash hook fails. He fucking hooked the wall, and then he flashes in anyways. I was convinced his ulti anyways. It's like, you're making a bad situation worse because you don't want to tell your fucking Nautilus that he's boosted. You, like, really want that engage to happen. I think some of that can come from communication stuff, too. Because I think usually the good fights start by someone being like, yo, like, I I'm going to look for this here. And then, you know, everyone's watching. If it lands, you follow up. If it what misses, you back out. But sometimes yeah. the comms are more like, all right, we're just going to go. Like, go, go, go. And then it's like they're committed to going without even seeing if they have anything. And they force it and eat a big cock. Eat yeah. a I big think, uh, cock. A really important type of communication that I like to use is conditional comms. Like, if this. It's like, you know, if... Yeah. If I can, if I like, if I hook rise, or if I hook, hook a carry, or like, if they overextend here, um, you know, if they walk into this choke, then you know, the condition is like, if this, then we're gonna go, or like, then you're gonna TP. It's not like so absolute because league is always, you know, people are always moving differently than you expect. Things happen. Like, you can't make absolute statements in league a lot of the time. You have to make, you have to prime up your teammates for like what is gonna happen next. Yeah. So. I, I definitely I don't think they had that. that fucking comms at all. You gotta lube up your teammates. Go, go, go! Th those conditional statements actually are so fucking good, I think, for team communication. Yeah, for sure. I was, I was and Sven had a really tough series, too. I don't want to only, only point out Fudge. Those guys got <laughs> fucking destroyed. The problem, though, is that I was and Sven aren't actually on C9's main roster. They're not on the LCS team. Or the Academy team. <laughs> That's true. Where the hell they are, are these guys purgatory. from? The fuck? Man, JoJo's looked fucking crazy for a debut. It's yeah. definitely one of the strongest rookie debuts I can remember. I think JoJo and Danny are both like very fucking impressive. Yep. Yeah. Both look good. JoJo's definitely newer. I think uh, it helps that he comes from an uh, esport where the NA players are actually good. Oh! <clears throat> oh, is that what it is? Okay. So Fortnite, I mean, Fortnite made him. Fortnite is going to save NA in League. I see. Thank Did you, Did you see Sneaky. LS tweet flaming his team? No, let's see it. Let's see it. That's what someone wrote. I haven't seen it. I was looking up Goku Gohan porn, but I guess we'll have to go to <laughs> LS's Twitter instead. You're such a dumbass, Sneaky. Like, I, I can't even... <laughs> what do you mean? That wasn't me. <laughs> I just looked at the why fucking Goku is trending. I was like, is there something that happened? Sneaky. 